Okay, just arrived. I bought it from Shopee actually. I select this Alpha Impress IM9. I believe it's the latest model. Matte black. Okay. And this one is without the rain shower, it's a normal shower head. And I reason why I choose Alpha is because of this uh, pump activator. Do you see pump activator? If your house water pressure is low you don't buy those auto pump because that one will take a long time before it start pumping so this one you can activate if you want it fast that's the reason why i choose alpha and you can see from here you have all the safety pump activator warranty and all the accelerations so this adjustable spray hand shower inside here it took three days for it to arrive okay. it's very impressive there's the box here's the machine okay. and all the warranty card as well okay okay so this is the matte black extra five time is is heavy enough okay so this is what i i mentioned just now the pump activators you press to activate it this one let's look at the qualities of it this is the shower head you can uh, yeah you can you can turn to change the type of shower that you want so it's very simple to install if you already have one the best you don't have then it's good to ask a technician to come to install for you but today i want to replace my old one which is already spoiled hence a body and this is the unit look at this So Rubini actually, I bought it for I think less than 3 years, it's already failing. So this unit itself, I, I don't really recommend, uh, but anyway, I tested it. I'll let's say let's try this time with the Alpha one, because the reason why this one don't have the pump activator. Every time I need to wait for it to activate the pump by itself. And my water pressure is a bit low, hence it's very difficult to do that. So that's why I choose this unit. Okay, let's install. Before we start the installation, we need to understand what's all this about. This one is the in inject this outlet. Means this is the water where the water need to go in. This is the water to the hose, to the spray, to the shower head. But this is the one. And you should to open this one up and one more place you need to know. You can see here, this is the place. So this is the place to put the where the power circuit to come in. So this is the one. And you need to make sure this is CM certified for Malaysia is CM certified. Yep, CM certified. And this is the only screw to open the entire unit. Okay, this is the only screw. No need to worry about the back screw, everything. Just this screw will do. Okay, before you open, you make sure all this in the default positions. Okay, now let's open. Oh yeah, before I forgot, I bought this unit is uh come with DC pump. Okay, not AC, but it's a DC pump. The DC pump will be the noise will be lesser compared to AC pump. Hence, you and you buy, make sure you select DC, Donkey, China, remember DC, not American, China, AC. Okay. So now after unscrew it, unscrew this one because this is a new unit. So you try to just just try to open up like this. 
because it's very new hence it will stuck a bit so i try to just use this one at the corner here just just help to push it a bit to open it because it's very new hence everything is stick together so when you open so this is how it looks like okay so that's the reason why i ask you to select to put back at the default positions okay because when next detector you close it's easier for you to close so this is the alpha the model that i bought is a 9i okay so this is the cabling this is the cabling so you do not need to touch any of this one so this is the position just now so you just need to make sure that it's same positions when you close it easy to close you don't turn this one and then turn like this close it will help you will not be able to close you close like this so this is the inner water turbo everything so this is the place where you slot in you need to pop, pop a hole here this is a rubber to prevent the water from coming in so you, you pop a hole here and you put the wires here follow the colors follow fully tighten loose connection cause overheating so fully put in that's it so this is the positions to lock it to your wall okay there are four holes here okay so for the old unit you need to make sure you power off and off the main switch as well so then you un unlock all the piping and then you unscrew the mounting four screw in the mounting there and you can go to replace all this So after I've unscrew everything, remove the screw out and box it. And this is the cable that you need to unscrew. Pull out this cable and then remove this four screw. Unplug it. And then you can replace the new one. So make sure you turn off the main power first. So for precautions, it's good to turn off the main switch. Let's turn it off. So. Mm. Just to make sure that whatever you do is safe. And now you do um, remove all the line. Screw it. is to put, make a mark there so you know where to, to screw later okay, the force as well but, but this tool can reduce there's no need to redo but do but this boy, boy, okay. boy. I will be reused back this tool guy but I put in the two new guy okay. so basically I'm using my torch to drill two more extra hole sometimes if the hole fit then you do not need to drill extra hole yeah and i'll be using this we call it ceramic drill it's purposely for a ceramic one that is the one that we're going to use and you can also decide if you don't want to screw all the four screw like my one you can just screw two but then it might not be strong enough so i decided to drill the two hole to fit this four hole okay but just make sure that you move away this guy yeah i i think it's quite safe here yeah, because this is the hole the old hole and the old hole most probably here 
we do not have any water piping here so it's safe to drill another two hole here but if you drill here or drill here then it's a bit risky because this is the water inlet so you must be careful on this one Now we just need to screw it back. Let's keep screw, screw back. Mommy! And then another one is to just lock down the pillow one as well. Yeah. And there's a big one. Yes. The big one is also a bit. Then you just need to fit all this part tightly and you put in this wire. Oh, that's where you put it. Yeah. Okay, so basically this is the main power. I already off the main power already. This is the power wire is coming in. So you move it, just take a hole over here, both it in. This is the wires you need to follow. These three wires need to follow the color over here, the brown, blue and yellow, uh, green. So I'm screw it here. Make sure I unscrew it and then push this guy in. Okay, push this guy in, push this in, then you screw it back clockwise. Clockwise to lock and then clockwise is to unlock. So move it. Not too tight, it's just firm enough and you make sure this guy is not coming out. It means it's good enough. But this three guy push it in there and then we can lock it in like this. So this is the, the inlet, the water coming out. Okay, the water coming out. Make sure the rubber is still there. Then you just, just, yeah, just screw it in. This is where the water coming in. Okay, this one. This one else. Uh, so lock it in. So here, there's a water to release the water to lock the water as well. Okay, the lock. Release it, you let the water pressure in. Turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Okay. Okay, so this is the up. Okay. I'm sorry. This guy make sure all down. This guy you know, you play with it. Make it make sure it's off as well. Make sure no cables come up. So now it's a time to test it. So on the main one, so over here, the line fault indicator. If this is red color, means there's something wrong with the electrical things. So please stop using it. So this must be green. This must be green as well. So this is the pump control. I'll turn it on a bit. Temperature. 
and let's test the water. I'll turn on this one. There's no water here because I have not pushed in this. Yeah. This is the normal because the water is first time coming in. Whoa! Look at the water it goes. So I think we need to turn off. So this is the test. The first test. This guy will stop. This will test whether it's working or not. Okay? So this is without pump. If you look at the without pump, the water is so low. Okay, let's say I, I press the reset to turn it back. This to test. Every month you should test it to make sure that it works properly, the cut off. Now, you should change back to the green color and immediately you look at, you look at this. Okay? So now, this is the pump. You see, you can turn it on the pump. You higher the pump, you will be more noisy. See here? If I, if I off the pump, immediately it will be silent. But this DC pump at least is much quieter than AC pump. So this is the pump. How, how strong you want? Stronger the pump is going to go further. Okay? So usually I don't think I need that time, I just need a few pumps. And this is the accelerator. I just always turn on my subject, the water here is, is good enough, the pressure. So if the pressure is low, then you need to press the pump activator. Otherwise, you automatically activate the pump for you. So if you turn off, you can either push it up from here, and can press it down. Okay? So this is how it looks like. Happy trying. Okay, so after I set up, I need to review it. I'll let you know my view. Overall, 540 ringgit for this guy, I think it's worth it. Alpha brand is here for a very long time. I've been using Alpha for almost 15 years. This is the second time I buy it. And the, there are a few good things over here. Inside, all the wiring is very neat, very nice, very clean. Easy to set up. The second good thing is that it comes with the line for indicator. If you turn red, it means it has issues. The third good thing is that it comes with this pump activator. Extremely useful when the water level is very low, the pressure is very low. You need to wait for it to turn the auto, auto pump, it takes a very long time. But if this manual pump activity, you can press and you immediately turn on the pump. Or, if the water pressure is high enough, it will auto turn on by itself. Like just now, you can see over there. So this, a lot of brands don't have it. For example, Rubini. You don't have it. Okay? You do not have it. Never mind. You see, Rubini is only have the power and the heater. You don't have the line, fault line indicator. So, if some issue with this rubidi, you will not know because you don't know indicating. But with that, heater, you yeah, have see heater and the line for indicator. That's why this is good. This is good. And overall, this guy also got five different shower heat. But the only drawback that I don't like is this guy. This look very plastic to me. Yes, I know it's, you shouldn't use metal, but, but this guy is a bit fragile, look like. But the overall is good. This guy, you sure you don't touch it because you are controlling over the main one. Okay? Then you don't touch it. Okay, like. Now, the pressure is low, so uh, it doesn't auto turn on. For some, uh, so I don't touch this guy. So it looks okay. Okay, happy trying. You can always try. If it cannot work, I always tell myself, if I fail to fix it in, what do I do? I just call a technician. I pay them some money, they come and fix it for me. But if I try first, at least I, I gain the experience, gain the knowledge. I fail, then I just call someone to come and fix it. I just pay. Yep, happy trying.